Aloha everybody and welcome back to more Let's Play Vampire Part 3. Alright. Okay, we made it we made it to the morgue and we found one of the medicines and we cured Mortimer and and let's see, who else did we cure? We cured Clay. We we made it to the White Chapel. And we defeated the sewer dog. And now we're gonna we're gonna find Richard Nithercroft and Clayton Darby. All right, go on. <sighs> we're out of here, guys. Sick citizens can be healed with the appropriate treatment. A healthy citizen helps contribute to raising the health status of the districts they belong to. Why are you loading already? Come on, please load. For the love of God, load already. Oh, there we go. Okay. Why does there have to be so many loading screens? The district status is being literally serious. You ate ten rats. Okay, let's see here. Fatigue. We gotta find Harry. Migraine, fatigue, bronchitis. This is horrible, man. I don't like bronchitis. Let's talk to Loretta. Good evening. Do you know Nurse Dorothy Crane from the Pembroke Hospital? I'd like to know more about her. I don't like to talk about competition. Competition, you say? Never met her, but it seems she provides some sort There's of another medical person care over there. to the poor. The whole thing has to be some sort of scam, if you ask me. Yeah. Life in London. Tell me, who intrigues you most in Whitechapel? The region itself is something to see, but I would say Camellia the mute florist who gives away her flowers. What do you think of the locals? Most of them are afraid or desperate. They all come to me eventually for my remedy. Is there anyone I should avoid? Cadogan Bates, without a doubt. The bloody bastard remorselessly exploits poor migrants as She's soon as they get here. Is that a fox scarf? Some questions. Why don't we trade? I'd like to see what kind of men. Yeah, I'll go to mine. Potassium for my gun tea. Cost 18 shillings. That's a whole lot of shillings. Benjamin Palmer has a migraine. I gotta find Richard. Wow. 
I hear a baby cry? I'm gonna be searching around for some stuff. Check the citizens menu one more time. Let's see, serious. If it's critical, if it goes hostile, they go berserk. Horrible, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. When science fails you, this elixir will give you faith again. <sighs> Who is this guy? Go, oh, please. I... Welcome, sir. Please, take a browse of my wares. Baron Dr. Reed, I would like to ask you a few questions, if you don't mind. Doctor? Interesting. I'm Barrett Lewis. Usually I don't have time to waste with talk, but at this hour of the night I can hardly refuse. Let's see. Right then. Show me what you have. You can buy stuff. Thanks. Fancy bar. You never. Li Have you heard of a nurse called Dorothy Crane? Nurse Crane? So the bitch really is a nurse then? Always thought she was just some crafty foreigner, that one. Yes, she's a nurse. And quite a good one. What did she do to gain such notoriety? Dorothy Crane ain't even a real name. Something like Dorothea. Cranyu, something like that. Came to England fleeing the war, I was told. That doesn't explain why she irritates you so much. Your precious nurse crane gives away medical supplies and prescriptions for free. I offered to sell it for a fair cut, but no, Miss Crane wanted to play the quiet saint. Yeah, new hints available. Nope. How is business around here? Business? I have no business. Between this racket, theft, and customers getting scared, I'm losing money every day. I see. Sounds like you blame someone in particular for your situation. It's no secret Joe Peterson spends his time harassing merchants. But with me, he's trying to put me out of business once and for all. Joe Peterson. As a merchant, you see Whitechapel every day. Have you noticed anything out of the ordinary recently? Well, you mean besides the epidemic, the war, and all the usual crap? As long as I can, I can remember, hear the this town has been a bottomless pit, and no sign of the bottom yet. Have you been hurt? No, but that's only because I ran like hell. Those men were raving lunatics, I tell you. Not even able to speak anymore, just screaming. Violence is increasing in the borough. Yeah. A few nights ago, some blokes jumped me, came out of one of the condemned workshops. Fever, madness, something like that. Where did this happen? Why did you go there? In the closed workshops nearby. I worked there as an apprentice in better days. Now I only go to find trinkets or tools. Too bad I was mugged, though. There was good money in that little box of loot I lost. Well, we got new investigations, but I'm not going to do that right now. I'll do it later sometime. Goodbye for now, Mr. Lewis. Let's talk to that guy over here. Excuse me, sir. I have a few questions for you. Another journalist? I didn't answer the first one, so piss off! <laughs> I'm not a journalist, I'm a doctor. A doctor, you say? It's quite a rare breed in this part of town. Really? But still, here I am. Dr. Jonathan Reed, at your service. I'm Joe Peterson to some. But Colossus Joe the most. And I don't Colossus remember asking Joe. for your service, sir. He's kind of a grump. 
Have you heard of a nurse named Dorothy Crane? She's a colleague of mine, and is supposed to live around here. Dorothy Crane? Yeah, I'll know her. One of the few good souls who dare to help the sick around here. Could you please tell me more about her? She's a nice girl. Tries to help the migrants. I offered to give her a hand, but she said my reputation would attract too much attention. Mm -hmm. How did you become the local bully everyone is afraid of, Joe? Whoa. There's no pride in roughing up poor bastards. But this is the only job I've found. And it pays well, too. A job? So you're racketeering for someone else? I got enlisted by the Wet Boot Boys, a gang from the docks. I'm their muscle for their dirty work. Who is one of the Wet Boot? You survive at any cost, even at the expense you use of this others. One? Perhaps it will just fail. The law of nature. I don't care what you think, sir. I'll do what I have to do for my own reasons. And that's that. I'm not sure Mr. Lewis would agree with your by all means necessary philosophy, sir. Oh, do you really think he's the poor victim here? Barrett can be as sneaky as anyone. Long ago, I even called the bastard my best friend. Nope. New hints available. Let's go. Garrett Lewis. May I ask what you do around here? I'll do whatever I want, and sometimes even more. Now sod off. According to you, physicians are scarce in this part of town. Why is that? Not familiar with this neighborhood, are you? I guess your fancy colleagues are too afraid of being stabbed in the back. This part of town does have quite a reputation. Would you say it's justified? Totally. Look at me. Totally. I always look my opponent in the eye before knocking him out. Yeah. There's no questions. Required. I think that's it. Goodbye, Mr. Peterson. That's it for now. Who is this mysterious guy? Forgive my interruption. Do not apologize, my son. Father Tobias Whitaker is always happy to teach more about the incoming Armageddon. I am Dr. Jonathan Reed. And I just have a few questions. A scientist? You are much more lost than I thought, my son. Let's see here. Let's ask him about Nurse Crane. Do you know Nurse Dorothy Crane from the Pembroke Hospital? I'd like to know more about her. I don't like the liberal ideas of nurses, but I especially abhor that Nurse Crane you mentioned. So, you're not exactly a fan of Florence Nightingale's work. But nurses are essential for modern healthcare. Nuns should be the only women allowed to take care of male patients. It's obvious only they have the necessary moral fiber. Why do you hate Nurse Crane more than other nurses? Before coming to London, she was a member of the communist resistance in her country. That's what happens when you let a woman get involved in politics. Yeah, new hints available. Booyah. What do you mean when you say that I am more lost than you thought? All scientists are entangled in a world of causes and consequences. And most of them can't see the plain truth. Quite a judgmental opinion, if you ask me. But what do I know? Blinded by science as I am. But well, you are seeking answers, aren't you? Answers about the Armageddon about to strike the city. Answers about the hidden truth. Yeah. Well, I suppose I can spare a few minutes listening to your so-called truth. As a doctor, you must be aware of a decimating epidemic. But let me tell you that this so-called Spanish flu is just the beginning of the end. What do you mean? The beast is finally revealing itself, corrupting the flesh and the heart of men. With my own eyes I have seen them, those minions from the abyss. Really? And what would be your answer to this biblical threat? We must fight the disease before this legion outnumbers us. But not with scalpels and microscopes. No. What is left then? 
cleansing fire. Yay. Tell me, Tobias, what exactly is your plan concerning the cleansing of this city? God will recognize his own. More than once this city has risen from the ashes, hardened and purified by the flames. Purification by fire has proved useful, but where do you stop? Burn the clothes? The buildings? The corpses? Worse? Your lack of faith is predictable. But my task is to convince rational minds like yours to see the light. This is God's will. You're mad and dangerous. You're nothing but a soulless butcher. A small-time <laughs> talking right. harder. The Savonarola of Whitechapel. My son, if you think salvation is a free gift, go listen to the lies of that pompous fool, Joseph. Joseph, a fool? Vicar Larrabee of St. Mary's Church. While he continues preaching his fraudulent redemption, more and more people die in the streets. Yeah, new hints available. Nice. I have heard enough for tonight. Goodbye. Goodbye. You got 50 XP. Booyah. Let's see here. Citizens menu. Let's count. Bronchitis. Fatigue. Two fatigues. I gotta find Albert. One's coughing. Who is that? Good evening, miss. I'm Dr. Reed. I'd like to ask you a few questions. Camellia. I know what you're thinking. A tall stranger who meets a girl in the street at night. It reeks of Is she silent? Dreadfuls. But I mean you no harm, truly. Speak up. I know you understand what I'm saying. Your silence has nothing to do with you being mute, does it? She's not talking. Very well. Goodbye then. Let's see here. Is she sick? No. I can't even tell if she's sick, whether she's sick or not. Go cure Harry and, and Albert. Ben has migraine. What else? Who else? I'm gonna check using my map. For now. Seriously. Please. It's locked. Yep. That's a locked door. How do you expect to go over there? Jewel Road. Dan. Those premium gunners. They're my problem. Crush the leech, boys. Ouch. This guy is more annoying. Got silver. Shut the friggin' flames. Away with you. Yeah, away with you. And he's got even a Oh my goodness. He can blind you? What is that guy? I 
Henry Kane. Die, Vermin! Man, this guy can be really annoying. Oh my god. About to fail. Yep. Failed. I'm totally failing, guys. But at least I made it. Oh, what exactly am I gonna do? Flower bouquet. Flower bouquet. The voucher for a, a free medical checkup hidden between the flowers. Man, this guy is at a level 16. Back, demon, back. Whoa. Blood, please. Oh my god. He's even got it. Oh my, he's got the power of Go fire. Back to the oh my god. He even does this. This is annoying. Need some blood, please. Oh, uh oh. Seriously? Ouch. Oh my god. One more hit. And I'm done like dinner. <sighs> I need to fill up and regenerate. This guy is almost down for the count. Get used to it, man. I'm finally getting started. Yeah, his combo attack is really crazy. Booyah. This man stunned me with his face. His crucifix. This is not good news. Die, oh. Watch out for the torch. Stop that. Can you do this? I got something. Now that I've dealt with those clowns, we gotta find Richard and Clayton. Has anybody ever tell you that investigation ones can be a pain? And loading screens are even more annoying. Who is that woman? Talk to her. Don't be shy, handsome. What can Christina do for you? Christina. I'm not looking for what you're selling. But I'd like to ask you a few questions, if I may. I'm a doctor. Dr. Reed. All right, then. But be quick. Though I usually get paid when I open my mouth. Yeah. Do you know Nurse Dorothy Crane from the Pembroke Hospital? Anything you can tell me about her would be helpful. I don't know her, but I know her name is Dorothea Krasionescu. 
She came from Romania, Russian and Nesco. Like you seem to respect kind of a British Dorothea name. helps the sick people of Whitechapel. Everyone should respect that. Christina, have you been examined? The epidemic is spreading fast in London, and you could be exposed or expose others. I don't like doctors or hospitals, but I don't like you asking questions. Rude. You can put your own life in danger, that's your decision. But what about your clients? If you're contaminated, you will put them in danger too. And you think that would worry me? <laughs> if you knew the men I deal with, their health would not be what you'd worry about. She sure is stubborn, isn't she? Considering your line of work, I assure you it is only a matter of time before you have health issues. If it is going to happen, it will happen. Right now, I need money. That's what's important. She loves money. Let's see. Fatigue. Do you need any assistance, Miss Popper? It depends on the price of your medicine. Let's give her some medicine. I am shocked that you would think I am that sort of man. Forgive my suspicion. I'm so used to liars with good manners. Thank you, sir. Yep. You're welcome. She's all better. Tell me about yourself. Are you joking with me? People don't usually come to see me for conversation. I have no interest in your work. I am, however, curious as to what led you into this career. <laughs> Short story. The war, exile, and England. This country is not especially welcoming. I've been refused many jobs because of where I am from. I had few options left. I always thought I was the master of my own fate. But if now I, choose, I know we don't, I don't judge you. control over our lives. I don't judge you. You know, this money is not only for me. I have good reasons to need this money quickly. But it is not your concern, Doctor. Of course not. But let's go back. Sorry. Hang on. Hold on a minute, guys. It's my Alexa. It's distracting. Goodbye, miss. Take care of yourself as best you can. Where could Clayton be? Who's that guy? Excuse me, sir. That's Clayton. Are you familiar with this part of town? Name's Clayton Darby, reporter. Sorry, I'm new there to There he watch. is. But perhaps you could help me since you're a journalist. My name is Jonathan Reed. Dr. Reed, the famous surgeon. I'll gladly help if I'm able, sir. Fatigue. There's another one. Do you need assistance? That would be nice of you, Doctor. Who knows what I may have caught you in my got another fatigue? Darn. If you persist in investigating the most pox-ridden boroughs of London, you must accept the risks. Thank you, sir. Pleasure's mine, sir. Christina Popper claims she sells her body because she can't find any other work. Do you believe her? Of course I do. Her story is exactly what I want my readers to understand. We live in an intolerant and divided nation. Do you think things will ever change, Mr. Darby? I believe the situation can only improve. And now that women can vote, I'm convinced things will change. Wow. What is a journalist doing in this borough after sunset? He goes where none of his colleagues would dare to go, to inform the country. So you risk your life to reveal the truth. 
I saw many reporters do the same during the war. Whitechapel is the crucible of so many untold stories and tragedies. I want people to know them. Yeah. That's quite honorable of you. But is the public interested? Not at all, sir. And that's why I'm an independent journalist, hoping to sell some stories. Why are the newspapers keeping silent about the Spanish influenza? It's as though none of you care. There's a war going on. People shouldn't be demoralized by news of deadly diseases. It's a disgrace. People are left to die alone. No one is properly informed of the risks. These are bad times indeed. So much for the glorious British Empire. Wow. Have you any idea of the danger you face in these streets at night? I've had to run and hide more than once from frenzied mobs incensed by the fever. Do you think the flu is really responsible for this, Doctor? That science is unable to explain the facts doesn't mean there is no rational explanation. I confess, I share your point of view, Doctor. Just talk to him about, him about an underground medical dispensary. I heard you're investigating an underground medical dispensary in Whitechapel. Dispensary. What do you know about it's got to pronounce not it much, right. I'm afraid. They are weary of strangers, and I'm not really an acquaintance of theirs. Why do you care? I'm a doctor, Mr. Darby. I care about everything involving public health and this epidemic. Are you sure you're not just concerned about the repercussions that a scandal kind of reminded me of the pandemic crane from the Pembroke Hospital would bring? Without a doubt, you are a damn fine journalist, Mr. Darby. What do you know of her accomplice, a man named Darius? I don't know much about the man. He's very cautious, never goes out, doesn't seem to have any friends or family. He never goes out? No. A few days ago, he unexpectedly did. I followed him. But it was just a ruse to keep me away from his house. I gotta make another fatigue. How do you know? He went to the nearest mailbox, but just before posting his letter, he ripped it up and threw it away. He has no relatives at all? No. Except for that strange man, a poet named Richard Nithercott, who sometimes comes by. Darius would never let him in. Where can I find this Mr. Nithercott? He spends most of his time lurking around Whitechapel, talking to himself or declaring verses. These days, you can usually find him behind the church. Goodbye, Mr. Darby. Farewell. All right, next. I gotta get that medicine to Harry. As a matter of fact, I need to get into the hideout. Please let me go in the hideout. Harry's got fatigue. Get rid of this one. Gotta find the mailbox in the letter. It's locked, all right. Yeah, totally locked. Probably get in there.
Where the heck are we? Alright. We're back here. If district's law health status drops below the critical threshold, it'll plunge into chaos. Citizens will be reported missing, their quests will be lost, and dangerous creatures will begin to roam around the streets. Like the skull the skulls and vampires. And econs. I should have left. Yeah. I went to the other side of the door just to unlock it. Oh, nice. But I think from now on I gotta focus right now. You are blinded by your false faith. Gotta find the mailbox and the letter. The mailbox. Darius Petrescu's letter. The content of Darius' letter to his children could give me more leverage to enter. Cool. Next, we gotta find is Richard. We gotta find Richard from now on, okay? That door is locked from the other side. On. Scroll. All right. Backyard. Dazzled skulls. Um, there's another skull over here. Can make that two of them. Total freeze. Uh -uh. That. Okay, that really hurts. Yeah, the stamina increase. Or I fight. Nasty punks. Got dead. Oh, careful with the three hit combos. Sometimes you can do a four hit combo. Oh, yeah, they're done. Totally done like dinner. 
Oh ja. This is the quarantine area. You can't go in there. Find Richard in the area. There's Richard. That's gotta be Richard, right? All I gotta do is open that door. Oh, look! Graveyard. You must be Richard. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. I would like to ask you a few questions. Please be my guest. Although I may not be the best informant regarding this part of town, my words speak about that which the eyes cannot see. Really? Are you an artist of some kind? I'm a poet, sir. Richard Nithercott, at your service. Let's see here. Do you need medical attention, sir? It may be wise to let you prescribe me something. I don't... He has cold. I will see you later. He has a cold right now. May I ask you a few questions about the district? Extraordinary part of town, is it not? I'll be glad to help you, if I can. What can you tell me about an old man called Darius? Darius Petrescu? Yes, I know him. At first, I thought he was only a small publisher. I invited him to publish my work, but his reaction was Let me ask you clear. some questions, Not guys. In what is the best way to treat Darius a cold? Is an old political activist who Drinking takes lots in of water. And lampoons. And most communist Drinking activities chicken only soup. require mediocre writing skills. Chicken soup is good. Very good for you. I'm looking for Dorothy Crane, a nurse who lives in this vicinity. Dorothy Crane. Good enough about the call. Oh, I love the name. The Crane Let's listen of Whitechapel. Sounds very mysterious. But sorry, no, never heard of her. Did you know the Mute Florist is a member of a secret society? No, I didn't. But I thank you for this information, sir. For it only enriches the mystery surrounding the precious camellia. Are you not curious? Is there not more you wish to know? That girl has not an ounce of malice in her. Whatever she may be hiding, it's certain to be for the benefit of most, if not all. I fear you are a hopeless romantic, Mr. Nether. Guilty as charged, Dr. Reed. Tell me, Mr. Nethercott, why seek inspiration in Whitechapel? The place is not beautiful per se, but uh, how to explain it? Stirring and challenging. Do you not think it a little morbid? On the contrary, sir. Whitechapel is full of life, full of beauty. Just like my dear muse, the wonderful Camellia. What can you tell me about Camellia? Not much. And that's the beauty of it. She can't speak, you know. She's a locked mystery who exhales kindness and sweetness. And have you ever tried to learn more about her? Where she lives? How she survives? Whom she may know? Maybe I prefer she remains an enigma. Reality can be so dull, don't you think? Perhaps you're just afraid to find out the truth about your muse. One day, perhaps, I'll ask her to come with me. But ah, uh, will she still be my wild flower of Whitechapel if she moves uptown? In what way, exactly? The struggle by gaslight. The barren smiles and the arid hunger under the rain. If you say so. Such vibrant antagonism and vivid paradox. The stripped humanity raged across each street. Vivid, of course, yes. And what about the poignant distress? Oh yes, the poignant distress. You see what I mean, don't you? That's what I want to write about. And that's what Whitechapel is made of.
Nothing else. I'll leave you. Darius is a bit less of a mystery now. It should not be that difficult to incite him to let me in. Better find a way. Cool. Oh, good. So. All right. Should probably head to the hideout. Do not go the wrong way, dude. Cheap price, good quality. Come on, take a look. Don't be afraid. Dead dude over there, the face mask on. All right. I definitely have to upgrade. It's not much of a choice that I have to do. Sepsis, ammonia, bronchitis, coal. I'll give that to him. Fatigue. Oh, I need is six more. Potassium. Oh, hold on just a minute. Budgian. Come in, Budgian. Oh, yeah. Need. Need more common handle parts. Cyclable. Bronchitis. I only need one more. So right now I gotta get out of here.
Better be careful when you sell items as some ingredients are hard to gather and may be vital for unlocking and crafting advanced recipes. Good decision. Bronchitis. Poor guy. Got some spring. Booyah. Gotta find a way into Darius Petrescu's house. Another one of you guys? Don't you clowns ever quit? Terminator? Oh, please. That was show him. Got some more medicine, but that's good to know. I'll deal with him first. He's got poison gas? Could I leech you this? What else do you want to call me? A blood sucking vampire? Take a load of damage. I'm gonna do a shooter first. Brain poison is just getting on my nerves. What is that yellow stuff?
kind of find Albert. I can't believe I'm doing this. His fatigue. How are you, boy? I'm not your boy, all right? Now piss off. What a grump. Do you need assistance? Please. Feeling tired these days. There you go. Let's hope nobody steals it from you. Very funny. Rude. Goodbye, young man. Well, he's better. Totally recovering, guys. Let's see, what else do I need to do? Harry has a headache. A bit, no, fatigue. Cold. Migraine. Hold on a minute, I gotta get rid of that one. There we go. Box of pills. Oh yeah. More shotgun shells. Fight off with these freer and rookies. Setting me on fire, you jerk. God, get away from me. Every time Jonathan gets hit by fire, his maximum health drains away. Can't enter because the door is locked on the other side. For sure. But we'll have to go back and we have to head to where we met that poet. We helped him. That's good. Graveyard guy. Gotta head to where we first saw that guy in the graveyard. I'll talk to her. Hello again, miss. Melia, I know you work for Dorothy Crane. Melia works for Dorothy Please Crane. tell me about her secret dispensary. Not talking. Mm. A stubborn and mute comrade. Nurse Crane and Darius Petrescu have been clever. Tell me about Richard Nithercott. I understand he is quite fond of you, Camellia. Mm. 
Very well. Goodbye, then. I'll go talk to him. Give him some medicine. Silent flower, white chapel, an angel oh, made oh. flesh. I... Good evening, Mr. Nithicott. And good evening to you, too, my good sir. Do you need medical attention, sir? It may be what. Given... I understand your appetite for words and macabre beauty, sir. But you should be more careful. The nutrition of my mind is more important than my physical health. But I appreciate your concern, sir. Ooh, yeah. Cured him. No blood loss. 40% loss of blood equals horrible. Migraine. You gotta find Harry. I'll leave you alone, sir. Definitely gotta find Harry. Where exactly could Harry be? Saved Darby. He saved Christina. Someone explain to me where Harry is, guys. I'm trying to heal all the patients. Oh, great. Not those beasts again. Oh, it's him again. The one we fought last time. These beasts are annoying. This guy's got a... Of a lot of strength and defensive. How? No, 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 no. You like that, you punk? Water is your blood sample. More healing. Another large beast. Two words. Holy crap. Where are you, Harry, man? First, I got a cure. Darius. And the medicine for bronchitis. Benjamin's got migraine. Albert is cured. We saw that. I won't end up another drunk call, so listen to the <laughs> The crying of a baby is giving me a bit of a headache.
come on. Yeah, you can hear the owl hooting. And crows. Harry's in there. He's inside. Good evening, Harry. May I come in? Sure. Is there only pain and suffering in this world? So, I'm not bothered. Do you need any medical help, young man? Yes, I do. I feel so tired. I don't know if it's the epidemic, but everything seems so hard. How hard can it be? You'll feel better with this. But you need to get a grip, young man. Medication alone won't cure melancholia. I'm not sure I'm happy with the idea of living long in a world like this. But I thank you for your concern, sir. You're welcome. Do you know Nurse Dorothy Crane from the Pembroke Hospital? I'd like to know more about her. Yes, I know her. I think Harry's a She came in to examine me when I was very sick. She said I should go out more. Your father and Mr. Lewis used to be good friends. What happened, Harry? I was young then. I don't remember Mr. Lewis ever coming back again after my mother died. Or was it after my father started bullying him? I don't know. Have you tried speaking to Mr. Lewis about it? I don't go out often, but yes. And he scolded me and told me to leave him alone. I guess my father frightens him too much. But you are not responsible for your father's actions. Am I not? Dad always says that he joined that gang for my, my friends safety. are going down. So if I wasn't born, people wouldn't be worrying about Colossus Joe. I don't want to mess my eyes. How do you feel? I'm fine. I mean, it's not easy every day, but I'm fine. I'm just tired of being sick all the time. If only I could be tough, like... Well, you know. Mm -hmm. Speaking of which, what can you tell me about your father? My father is an idiot who makes idiot things. That's all I have to say. What does that even mean? Forgive my bluntness, young man. But you don't seem happy living in Whitechapel. Why should I? I never wanted to come here in the first place. It was my father's decision. Look around you. Does this look like a nice place to live? I'm sure your father did his best when he found this I house. I did this one. Times are tough for everyone, young man. That's exactly what my father says. Harry, you should be grateful for what you've got. But I wasn't even consulted when we moved here. If life here is so terrible for you, why don't you just leave this place? Have you ever spoken to your father about it? I... I don't go outside. It terrifies me so. Birds. I went outside once without my father noticing and I saw terrible things. Bloody and frightening things. So that's why you stay at home all day? For fear of the epidemic? I'm not afraid of disease or death, Dr. Reed. It's the living I'm afraid of. I'm afraid of death, man. And disease. Enough about Goodbye, it. Goodbye, young man. Take care of yourself. Yes, sir. Hey, what's Is in there? there? Pain and suffering Large box of pills. Come on. Harry's such a nice guy. It's locked, all right. Very locked. Only a key would be useful. All right. Let's go back to the hideout and craft the bronchitis. All right. Let's do it for now. Mm 
need to find the recipe for the headache, migraine, and see what else. For the brain disease. First, it was the heart disease. Second, lung disease, and now brain disease that includes headache, cold, pneumonia. Pneumonia is really bad, worse. No, I'm not gonna rest yet. Titus. We need one more. Yeah. Sepsis. We need we need 15 sodium permagante. The purple one is going to be expensive to find. Good thing you got glass vial. Migraine, neuralgia, bronchitis, pneumonia, cold, fatigue, anemia, sepsis. Now, let's go out there and cure Darius. Man, I'm so tired of these loading screens. Right. Let's go back this time. Come on, take a look. Don't be afraid. Go on, take a look. Don't be afraid. Mr. Petrescu, just one minute, please. You again. Go away. He is grumpy. Sir, wait. Stop this nonsense. I know Nurse Crane is here. Shall we speak man to man, you and I? <laughs> All right. Speak up. Don't you see we're on the same side? We fight to help the poor, sick, and abandoned. I'm nothing like you, Mr. Doctor. Yes, you are. You too believe in providing <laughs> medical care without He's charge. Grumpy. You know what we have to sacrifice to make the world a better place. I have to admit your words have conviction. All right, I'll let you see Dorothea. Don't make me regret this, though. Thank you, sir. We're in Mr. Petrescu's house. So we're going to talk to him, heal him. If you want to talk to Dorothea, you must go across the courtyard and take the stairs. We've not been formally introduced. May I ask your name and occupation, sir? I am Darius Petrescu. I'm here to keep snitches and spies away from Dorothea. And I also run this He keeps snitches and shop. spies away from Dorothy. Do you need some help, Mr. Petrescu? I am very tired, but that is all. I don't need you, Doctor. 
Just give him the medicine. Well, I think you do. Take this, and you'll feel better. Free drugs from an English doctor. <laughs> it must be my lucky day. Agreed. Did you refuse to publish Richard Nithercott's previous works, Darius? Yes. His manuscript is as pompous as he is starched. Now there's a man who loves the sound of his own voice. You could have told him so. As a great writer recently said, politeness is the most acceptable hypocrisy. Tell me everything you know about Camellia, the mute florist. I do not believe in the afterlife, Doctor, but I'm almost convinced Camellia is an angel. She volunteered to give out our medical leaflets. Who is she, really? Do you know where she's from? She's not from around here, that's all we know. Camellia is not even her name. It's her favorite flower. You say she has no close family. Well, there's that awful poet who constantly follows her around like a lost puppy. A good man, for sure, but a very poor writer. Are you not worried for her safety? She is as brave as she is tough, and clever, too. If only I had met her when I was younger. Are you in love with Camellia, Mr. Prochesco? Don't be stupid. If I had met her when I was younger, we could have won our revolution. Tell me everything you I do. He already asked. So Dorothy's real name is not Crane. Like myself and many people in this area. So Crane is not her last Dorothea name. Dorothea right? is from occupied Romania. That's all you Romania. need to know. She seems important to the community. More than you can imagine. The West End does not want to hear of Whitechapel's misery. Dorothea is one of the few doing something about it. Tell me... I do that's all. Uh. Questions? I know you fought for your country when it was occupied, Darius. Tell me more about it. I know my days are numbered, and I know I won't see my homeland again. But I fought for Romania all my life, and I will until my last breath. But Romania escaped the grasp of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. It's a free country again. But it's not the country I fought for. My homeland is not appeased, Doctor. And I still see a dark future ahead for my people. How did you meet Nurse Crane, Darius? Why does she trust you? I'm her oldest friend in England. Dorothea and I share many ideas about this country, and about the country we left. You mean occupied Romania, don't you? Even if not directly, I fought against your enemies. Really? Then perhaps you have more in common with Dorothea than meets the eye, Dr. Reed. Do you have any family left, Mr. Petrescu? Children or grandchildren? Who knows? I have abandoned my people for so long, they might as well be dead. As dead as I am for them, I suppose. Don't be embarrassed, sir. If you must know, my own father disappeared many years ago, and I forgave him. It's quite awkward to talk about our families like this, but... Thank you, Dr. Reed. I appreciate your trust. This war won't last forever. Jonathan's father has left Did him you ever before think of returning to your country? Jonathan became a vampire. No. I have taught strength and determination to my sons and daughters. I'm an old dying man who only has memories of better times to cherish. Goodbye, Mr. Petrescu. Bye, man. Sir. I gotta find Dorothy. I'm gonna search for some items. Oh, shilling. Presto. World Calacus. Uh, don't know how.
how to pronounce it. Where are you, Dorothy? You're going outside, dude. Another box. This is She's got to be out there. Alright, so this is the dispensary. Got some blood sample. That's Razvan. Letter to Nurse Gray. What to do is read this. Theodora. Up first, they give me a drink. Rosman, can you hear my voice? That's got to be her. That's her, all right. Do something, Dr. Reed. I need help. She needs help, dude. What do we have here, nurse? Patient Razvan Vasily. High fever running on three days. Complaints of dizziness, muscle aches, and head pain, diagnosed with influenza. Treatment? Aspirin and salicin for the fever and discomfort. Liquids for dehydration, but he's having trouble keeping even water down. Thank you, nurse. Anything else I should know? He did lose consciousness this morning, but he's never had convulsions like these. <coughs> he's not convulsing, he's choking. He's not getting any air. Scalpel, hand me that scalpel. What can I do, doctor? It's too dangerous to operate with these convulsions. Sedative, nurse. Do we have any anesthetics? I'm sorry, doctor. None at all. Oh. Whoa. I need to perform a tracheostomy. Short pipe. That rubber tube will do. We're going to cut a passage for air through the neck. Yes, doctor. He's breathing again, but he's coughing up blood. Ugh. Internal hemorrhaging. I need to make another incision into the chest cavity to drain the fluids from the lung. Prepare another tube. A thoracostomy. Doctor, we've nothing to fight the infection. We need an aseptic environment. Right then, Nurse Crane. What do you suggest we do? I've no idea. I'm not the doctor. Time is of the essence. We need to perform a thoracic drain. Yes, doctor. Is he turning into a skull? Ew. He's still bleeding, Doctor. I'm losing his pulse. The drain must have punctured the intercostal artery. There's too much blood. That's Are you alright, Doctor? I... I can't see. Oh my god, he's hallucinating. He's turning into a vampire. First, suture the artery. I do this. Find the wound. The source of the blood. Needle and thread, Doctor. Good. The stitches are holding. How's he doing? We're losing him. We've lost his pulse. He's dying, Doctor. Oh my god. I think he's dying. Let's do this. Cardiac massage, now. Cardiac... what? Are you making this up as you go along? No.
bad choice. We've lost the pulse. He, he's gone, Doctor. Yes. We did everything we could. Truly? Everything you could. Is that how you'll report this in your log? Is this how the war went, piling up one poor corpse beside the next? This was not an influenza-induced seizure. I've never seen symptoms like these on the continent. Neither have I. But the previous symptoms leading up to this attack were the same, indistinguishable from the epidemic. No. There was something more vile in these reactions. Something... primitive. There have been numerous reports of mental breakdowns caused by the fever that accompanies the flu itself, Doctor. Yes, but... I'd best take some samples of the blood for analysis. You don't have a choice. Poor guy. I doubt you're here to test my bedside manners. Gotta confront him. So what do I owe this courtesy? I suspect it was more than intuition alone that led you to us. So, how might I be of service, Dr. Reed? I've come to put an end to this insufferable blackmailing, Dorothy. Doctor, you think your warnings scare me? I've stolen and plied, blackmailed and lied, but what else am I to do? I'm all these people have. Let's see. You've convinced me of the sincerity of your actions and their noble justifications. But all the same, blackmail is a crime, and it will stop Nurse Crane. So, are you going to turn me over to the authorities? I embrace and spare her. Just forget all this. Listen very carefully, Dorothy. You will erase from your memory everything you pretend to know about Lady Ashbury and Pembroke Hospital. Let that rich bitch off the hook over my dead Nurse body. Nurse Crane, enough. Listen as if your life depended on every word. I know you have a generous heart who gives freely to those in need, but you shall walk away from the shadier streets of your business. I will never abandon... Dorothy, the discussion has come to a close. Your clandestine activities in the Resistance are over. Let it go. I'll... I'll let it go. Yes. All gone. Mesmerize the home. Took to care of Dorothy's fate. The district will soon suffer the consequences of your actions. Yep, this is what happened. It's serious now. <sighs> Man, oh. Get a report to Lady Ashbury. Oh my god, free and rookies. It's locked. Got some enemies over here. The free one rookies. Make that two of them. And three. Brawlers are even more annoying. Deal with him. Watch yourself! This one of them! Oh my god, I'm gonna get killed. Gotta deal with this. Gunner. 
Where's that door? Three of them. He's mine. Blasted shooters. I don't care if I get good, good ended or not. I can't tell. So that Talk to Ben. Good evening, Benjamin. I'm afraid not. What is it, Benjamin? It was the war, wasn't it? Your nerves are shot, aren't they? I need some answers, Private. From one soldier to another. The doctors called me a liar. A coward. Put me in a straitjacket, locked me up. Finally, they sent me back to the front lines with a handful of tablets. Yes. Sounds like shell shock. I've seen a few cases like yours. This is nothing you should be ashamed of, Benjamin. And it's perfectly natural in your situation. I'm not ashamed. I just need my pills. Peace and quiet, that's all. Yay. See here. Forty percent equals horrible. A gun, alcohol, and a bad temper. Alrighty then. I'm gonna report back to Lady Ashbury. In the hospital. Whatever it takes. See if I can check my map one last time. Oh, Lord, beast. Ouch. 
ain't so sure about. Ooh, ow. Show that large beast boss. Show him who's boss. to remove that so I don't get confused. Oh, that's better. Carry on, please. Mm -hmm. Why not keep some rats? I have this thirst for blood. I can't believe I'm doing this. Come on. I have this thirst for blood. Human blood. Whoever left these marks did so deliberately. How? Kill it, boy! Oh, great. The Sheen Brothers. Crush the leech, boys! Fuck this guy. Got another one over here? Burn it, boys! Jerk, stay out of my way. You know it's good for you. Alright, that's it. Taking you down and your brother. Get off. Huh. Burn it, boys. You're finished, Tony. Yes. Die, burning. Whoops. Gotta get close. Flashing. Man, these guys can be a bit of an advantage. Die, you annoying freak! Boys are not there. Is there another one here? It's called for backup. Oh my god. Stop shooting me. There's more of them? 
the Sheen Brothers. Not Sheen from Jimmy Neutron. Next. How many of these are there? Why do you keep shooting me? There's no reason you keep on turning me. I drink his blood. Burn it, boys! God. Well, no, you don't. Oh, no, you don't. Not on my watch. Crush the leech, boys. No, you don't. Going down, Vince. Huh, you got used trench in. You cook me. Yes. Now I've got a lot of XP. We've already been in this area. <laughs> I can check for the investigation one last time. Let's try this again. Now then, I should probably go in there and face these punks. Let's just stay focused this time. Hold on a minute. Let's see if I can check my map. 
rogue skull. There's another hideout. Probably need to craft this thing. Common handle part. I seem to recall. Oh, he lost half his health. That seems to be a good start. These lousy skull punks. Four of them? Good Shoot, man. The more health. The more blood I drink, the more health I might increase. Kind of remind me of blood rain. Level 17. I might be able to do this one, one more time. But who knows? Turn around, sir. It's one of them oh my god. I'll deal with you. I'll deal with you. Oops. I'm toast. Yup, I am. <laughs> hmm. The blood of citizens is the fastest way to evolve. <sighs> Maybe I gotta try another way around. Three pre-win brawlers and rookies keep on beating the living crap out of me. What a bunch of doofuses. If I concentrate, I might come up with another idea. Let's try another way. Oh, yeah. Let's see here. Mm, hold on. Offhand. Let's try this one. I don't know. I'll have to switch to a fall use. The cudgel. Legion. Alright. 
Don't call me Human late. Blood. Whoever left these marks did so deliberately. Yeah, I'm at level 10. So that's why I don't think that fighting these dudes would be an idea. No, you're going the wrong way, John. Please go back. Go freaking back. Probably need to get more blood. Not from, not from my carelessness. These lousy skull punks. They can also deal with vampires and skulls. Murdering. Whoa. Wow. Kind of reminding me of Dead Island where when a character what attacks, they lose their stamina. What are you doing? Stop fighting me. About to die. Oh man. You know what? Don't hit the wrong button, please. Let's see here, which is high speed. Okay. Hacksaw. Scythe. Attack speed, which is the highest attack speed. 15. I might even try that. I'm sure I could try this one. Why not? Uh oh. Take one more hit. Oh my god. And boom. Oh no. Come on. Keep going. No. Come on. You're doing better. You did it last time, Jonathan, but I'm gonna get some more blood so that I can. I'm gonna try it one last time to see what it's like. Okay. Let's see. Mind giving you some what some guns. I'll try the Rupara. But what the heck? Oh, you're hitting the wrong button, Jonathan. Please don't hit the wrong button. Let's switch to the stake. Okay, let's see here. Probably need to use the knife. Details. He's the only one that's upgradable. See here, common weapon details. Now, which one has the highest speed? That's slow. Okay. D 
details. Let's see. Need some more common handle parts. But all right. Hmm. Let's see. I only got four. But I don't have ultimate. Jesus, this guy ever quit? Get it through your heads, guys. I ain't gonna lose. Try this on for size. Ooh, that takes... Every time he uses that blade... Oh my god, he's like Edward Elric when he has that thing on his arm. What are you doing? Oh my god! I almost died! Ow! You're freaking dead, man. I'm not gonna make it the second mistake. Do another combat. You're really on my problem, man. Ooh! Stop that. He's trying to do a finishing blow on me. It's half your health. Darn it. Gotta quickly evade. Watch my stamina for sure. Back. Ha ha! That'll finish you off. Phew! Much better. Much better. Alright. Once I go talk to Thelma. Oh my god! A free one! Out of level 17. Take this seriously, would you? I wouldn't do that if I were you, man. You're going down! I think that's it for now. We're gonna go back to Thelma. No, don't go that way. I'm not gonna fight that ferocious skull. It is more annoying to fight him.
because he could take me out very easily. And by easily, I mean super easily. Please load. That's it. Thelma. Thelma Holcroft, where you are. Good evening, Mr. I have made inquiries about the men who were tracking you, Miss Howcroft. I did not expect a mortal to have this sort of courage. Speak, Doctor. Why are they hunting me down? It was a misunderstanding. These hunters were in fact looking for a very different creature, but they mistakenly put their sights on you. I knew it. I have become undone. Those hunters have discovered me, but they don't know what I'm capable of. If you'll accept some advice from a petty mortal, I think you should assume a low profile and just quietly disappear into the shadows. You are right. And you have served me well, mortal. Take this as a reward for your time. Perhaps I will allow you to drink deep of my blood. One day. Thank you. I'll keep that proposition in mind. All right. Tell me, Thelma. What do you really know about vampires? I saw one and he saw me. I watched him hunt and kill. I saw his terrible wounds heal as his victim died. And then I knew I was saved. You mean you actually saw a vampire here in London? Yes, and it has been the answer to my pain. I must drink and kill to regenerate my decaying body. I am a vampire too. You have no idea what problems your claim could cause if heard by the wrong people, Miss Howcroft. You must stop this nonsense now. Why fear the truth? Strange things live in the dark, Dr. Reed. Strange and ancient beings that were here before this island even had a name. Yeah. I'll leave you, Miss. I wish I could be sick again. That's good. Blood with Finished blood. wrong target. You know, all I had to do is level up my skills. So that I can take things personally by killing a bunch of enemies. This is a common steak. Let's. We need tiny common handle parts. We need two more of these, that's for sure. Alright. Where could Milton be? We talk to Milton and report to Lady Ashbury. We'll end the stream. Okay, guys. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Such a pleasure to see you again. Please show me what you have to sell. Of course. It. All these types of. medicines. But. Where's Milton? Where 
Where the heck are you, Milton? Where's Milton? Is Milton missing? He's not there right now, so... Well, now we go talk to... Actually... You know what, actually, we're gonna have to go... Follow the mission, please. Ashbury's right here. Gotta go see her. She's right. She's right next to. There's Mortimer and and Beatrice. How can I be sure I'll not find your unconscious body in the house again? I promise you, you'll not find my unconscious body. For God's sake, how can you say such a thing? How can you refuse to listen? I tried to warn you for so long. No, I won't let my only son die. You promised me you'll stay alive. Your son lied to you, like the whole world lies to us. Is he sick again? No hint available. Now it's time to report back to Lady Ashbury. Just why we did anyway. Perhaps I should have just the office in that character first. In fact, I'm gonna have to rest so I could evolve. Yo, Milton, what's going on, man? Good evening, good evening, Doctor. I'd like to see wise choice, Doctor Reed. had you hospitalized here because you tried to kill yourself. Yes, it's true. All right, then. This is the first time we've really shared information about your case. Shall we call this progress? Call it what you want, Dr. Reed. You can trust me. I won't report you to the authorities. My one and only concern is your health. I guess I should thank you, then. Can I help you in any way, Mr. Goswick? I wrote a letter for my mother. She was supposed to read it after... after my death. But... I suppose she doesn't have to read it now. I see. And is this letter still near the place where you tried to take your own life? Yes. And I don't want anyone reading my last words. I mean, I'm still here. If you bring me back that letter, then... Perhaps we'll talk. All right. New investigation. I have to go now. Doctor.
on, how do I talk to her? Cauldron. Generation, yes. Hurrah. Seems we need one thousand. Need six hundred. Thousand three hundred. Need five hundred. Let's see what happens. The following night. Disappearance in Witch Chapel. Ports of mysterious disappearance has escalated in the past week. Your choices concerning the community killer have been reported by the press. Dorothy Crane is missing. Which is horrible. I'll end it for now. Maybe I'll talk to Lady Ashbury one last time. disease. Milton is fatigued. What in the world? Gaming 5000K. I'll see you in the next video. Toodles.